with white sharks. Are they monsters, or have we misunderstood these predators for decades? We try to find an answer on a special seafaring expedition to a tiny island in the Pacific, where you can join some of the world's largest sharks underwater. But where did they get such a bad reputation? bad reputation given by the media, but uh, the big problem started in 1975 with Jaws by Steven Spielberg. It's very bad that uh, Spielberg never really said something uh, to change the bad reputation. Everybody think that the great white shark, for example, always swim at surface with the dorsal fins of the water, longing to kill people. Most video that you will find on YouTube, uh, but even in uh, commercial documentaries of shark ramming the cage, pumping the cage, uh, eating the cage, biting the cage, You're like it's a furious animal. It's always the same image of the serial killer. With the ship anchored next to Guadalupe Island, the team is working hard. The crew are trying to bait the great whites close to the boat with their favorite food, massive tuna heads chopped into pieces. Success comes shortly. A giant shadow appears in the dark water, and it is not alone. We can say that great white shark uh, is one of the best predators in the ocean because it's amazing the amount of prey is able to kill uh, even some of the biggest animals in the ocean. So, for example, in a four meter great white shark, they found two sandbar sharks each uh, approximately one meter and a half long. And it's uh, quite amazing what you can find uh, in the stomach of great white shark. They have uh, such a huge mouth. They have big teeth, triangular teeth, uh, with strongly serrated margin that are made uh, for cutting the hardest part of animals, like for example, the bones of the seals or the dolphins. And they will swallow the prey wall. And this is not a problem for them because they have a huge stomach and they can store the food even for days or weeks. So they will use the food in the stomach when they need it. Great white sharks are made to find and kill the prey. So everything, their senses, their forces, body structure, their anatomy, everything is made for this job. It might be their physical characteristics that lead people to regard great whites as deadly predators. But in terms of intelligence, sharks are believed to be simple-minded creatures that focus on only two things, continuous hunger and killing. However, experts have known for some time that this is simply not true. The shark is able to do so much more than we ever imagined. We don't have to think for this that great whites eat a lot. They can stay even at least one month, maybe one month in half, without eating anything. So when the occasion happens, they will try to eat as much as they can, just because they don't know what happens tomorrow. If tomorrow they will be able to find other prey. Thanks, guys. In Australia, South Africa, the United States, and Mexico, diving with great whites is only permitted in a massive protective cage specially designed for this purpose. This rule also holds in Guadalupe. On this boat, there are two surface cages for four people. And also a two-person submersible cage that can go deeper. It's, uh, it's definitely a different experience going down into their world. The surface cages give a lot of action because that's where the baits are. But the deep cage, you go down to 30 foot, 
and it's an amazing experience having the sharks swimming all around you. Diving with great white sharks is beautiful. You must use the cage, so diving out of the cage is forbidden. So this is why the authorities is forbidden it. So it's not like a big pet. It's still a huge predator. The ocean is the realm of wild animals. They live there. So it's not our world. When we enter the ocean, we must know it. We must keep it this in mind all the time.